welcome back to my kitchen. Now today I'll be showing you how to prepare a sorrel drink. Now sorrel is something that Jamaicans consume during the Christmas season, but of course we're in the new year and sorrel is still still in our in our meals, it's still a part of our meals. So today I'll be showing you how to make your sorrel drink. Now sorrel is sometimes mistaken for the hibiscus plant but it isn't it's a hibiscus family but it is different from the hibiscus plant you know in jamaica we usually use the sorrel calyx to make the drink by drawing it or what do you call it seeping it in hot water and putting rum, putting pimento, different spices to make the drink come alive even more. Um, there are many health benefits to sorrel and I'll be showing you how to prepare it. So the first thing we need to do is rinse them off, wash them off to make sure everything is clean, that there are, that there are no insects or mold or anything on the fruit itself. Is it fruit? I don't know if it's a fruit, the calyx. So let's go. <laughs> So yes guys, I usually wash it bit by bit to make sure everything is clean. It's a little time consuming, but I prefer to have everything clean. So I'm almost done. I've washed half of the bag already. The water is boiling behind me because you need the water to be extremely hot whenever you add it to the, the soil. So I think I should take the time out to highlight 10 health benefits of Jamaican sorrel and I'd like to start off with weight loss. It says because of the acid in the sorrel it helps with the weight loss but I'm yet to find out. Uh, two is the anti-cancer because of the antioxidant properties found in the sorrel are known to prevent the development of cancer cells in the body. Um, it's anti-inflammatory because of the properties again it neutralizes the free radicals in our bodies that causes inflammation conditions such as like uh, stomach cancer, eczema, rheumatoid arthritis. It also lowers the blood pressure. So people who have hypertension or what we call salt, <laughs> it helps to lower the blood pressure. It's, it, it boosts your vision. So it's good for vision because of the high levels of vitamin A. It is also said to prevent heart disease and it prevents flu and cold. Surprisingly, it's an ancient African remedy for flu and cold because of the high levels of vitamin C that help to boost the immune system. It also relieves fever, reduces menstrual cramps, and relieves constipation. I've heard my grandmother talking about the menstrual cramps, and it's, she, she said that, you know, drinking the tea could help but it has to be a few days before the period or the leaves can be used too by brewing the leaves and drinking it it does it does um relieve menstrual cramps i normally add some pimenta to it not too much just enough and i rinse it off i don't know i have a, a habit of rinsing off everything so i don't know if that's crucial but i, I rinse it off I put it to the bottom of the pot and I usually use a sorrel to cover it. The sorrel is extremely rich already. You're seeing all of the, the, the minerals and the vitamins seeping out and the water is cold. So we have there's a boiling water here. And I'll be let me grab my mitten because at times can be a little hot. I love this mitten, it says cooking with love provides food for the soul. And you, you don't need to add it way over the top, you just need to add enough to cover the sorrel. Mm -hmm. What I'll be doing next is adding some ginger to it. I got some fat, fat, juicy ginger. And I'll be blending it up and throwing it into this whole mixture. So I do this, it's so much more efficient when you use a spoon to clean your ginger. It saves a lot of ginger. Usually when you use like a knife, it takes off so much ginger and it's, it's 
it's just wasted ginger and it's not as efficient. See, already I'm almost done with this piece. You can see how easily the skin comes off with a spoon. Thank me later, guys. Thank me later. Already, this is done. Oh no, not quite done. But yeah, done now. Uh, probably should get my blender out. So if someone ever tells you that your toes look like ginger, that's what they mean. It's highly disrespectful, so don't take this as a compliment. Hey guys, so now it's the continuation of making the sorrel drink. Last night we did it and we left it to brew overnight with some pimento this morning where we just spice up the whole drink. Just got back from the gym, you'll see that video soon. I did upper body today. So we'll be having some white rum in our sorrel, some sugar, a lot of sugar, so you know it's not really healthy, <laughs> and some red label wine. And we're going to get right into it. This is um, the option number one. I'm going, this is my mother's recipe. I'll be doing my grandmother's recipe a little later down in the week. And then I'll come here both to see which method is better, which method gives the better tasting sorrel. Yeah. I put it into a smaller container so that it's a little easier for me to manage. And then I use a strainer and I just do it little by little until it's all done. Guys, I don't like to see when my product is wasted, so any little drippings, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's being wasted, but can't prevent every single drop. Alright, I think I have to probably take up the whole pot now. Small remnants, or what you call it, it's a residue, it's not residue, or dregs in it. So, I like to use a kind of cotton material and run it through it so it can make chemical really smooth. So, that's the next step. So, my personal opinion is. I think if you want to to get all the health benefits from the sorrel, you can't add too much, you can't put too much additives, the rum and the, the alcohol if you really want to reap all the benefits of it. I think it's best to just drink it without the sugar and the rum. Now to my favorite part, <laughs> adding the rum. <laughs> so I really, I don't know, I like a lot of rum. Um, not a rum head, I just like when it's spiced with the rum, you know? So, what do you call it, lace? Is it lace in there, a little rum? So I just pour until I feel like I should stop. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think I even have to rum. I can just pour and feel the spirit talk to me. Probably that's enough. Probably. Um, by the way, that bag of um, sorrel, it gave me three and a half, close to three and a half quarts of sorrel. So, it's enough. Oh! I think I added enough. I forgot that I put some in for <laughs> So anyways, we have the rum there. We have some red label wine too. Can't have enough red label wine. You can put as much as you want. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. Alright, one more juice. My 
tubes longer. <laughs> my tubes will leave. And then for the sugar. Uh, my nemesis. But let's put some sugar in it. It takes a lot of sugar, trust me. So this whole garlic. I did not know it took so much sugar until I started making sorrel. I've been getting compliments about my sorrel. People are asking me to box it, to bag it, to bottle it and sell it. But you know, trying to be, trying to keep my recipe to myself like Mr. Krabs, you know? Even though I'm here showing you guys. But add whatever else you want. This is where. I'll stop my share for today. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is it. This is it. A joke. I'm not adding anything else to it. This is just it. Um, and I really don't like to stir, so I'll just do it for a while, but then I leave it overnight. And the drink is so good when it's cold. When it's a little warm like this, you don't really. Wow. Mmm, so the rum is kicking. <laughs> the rum is kicking, which is a good thing. So, yeah, um, in Jamaica, you can't, if you're under the age of 18, you can't have it. And in some countries, like maybe North America, it's 21. Those who are drinking this during the Christmas season, please don't drink it and then go and drive. Don't drive home after drinking the sorrel. Stay a little or bring it home and drink it there. But that's it for today. We'll have the taste test and the review in another video following this one or maybe after the one that follows, but you'll see it soon. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you do like the video, the thumbs down if you don't, the subscribe button if you want to see more contents like these, the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. And again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.